Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rink9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Three Stooges. I will be giving away a Three Stooges DVD set, so make sure to watch the entire video to see how you can win. It's completely free of charge, no purchase necessary on your end, and I think you're absolutely going to all enjoy it and love it. Now I'm really excited to tell you about this and that is we're going to be taking a look at Larry Fine's original house. This is the house that he lived in during the time that he was making his stewed shorts about from 1941 to 1959. It's really cool to be able to see what it looks like today and maybe look at the neighborhood, look at inside and I'll even tell you who it was sold to. Not only that, but I'll also mention how much it's worth. And I think you all will be shocked at knowing the worth of this house, especially since it was from Larry Fine himself. Now a quick reminder, Larry Fine was one of the three original Stooges along with Mo Howard, because remember, Shemp was the one who originally tagged along with them. Then he was essentially replaced for Curly. He was seen originally in the shorts. And then later on, we got Shemp again. Then we have Joe Besser and Joe Dorita. But throughout all the individuals that I mentioned, Larry Fine became a pinnacle, a foundation of the Stooges. Without him, I mean, his face was the one that we saw most often along with, of course, Mo Howard. So it is essential that we talk about him. Now I'll be taking a look at the home itself, tell you a little bit about it. We'll take a look at the inside, the outside, but to give you a little bit of background, it's a 1925 Spanish Mediterranean architecture styled home. And yes, as I mentioned, he moved in at around the time of 1941. And it's really cool to know that this was his home for so long. Because Columbia Pictures decided to end the Three Stooge shorts in 1957, that created a bit of chaos for all the Stooges, including Larry Fine, who was almost forced into bankruptcy. And that's one of the reasons why he had to finally sell his home with this gorgeous architecture, these arched windows, and these doorways. But it's great to know that this historical, essentially, landmark is still around. So I wanted to give you all a little bit of a street view of um, Larry Fine's house. I think it's pretty cool to be able to check out a few things um, at this point, that is, when this video was recorded. Um, they have community patrol, so you know this is a very nice area. Um, you can see what I really like about the driveway that you can see out here is that it's a wraparound driveway. You know, this design is a little bit older and it just seals the deal. So it's like, you know, he used to come in here, drive in through here, maybe park over here and then just drive out and so forth. And I really love that. I really love that wraparound look. Now, as I mentioned, there were some things that were adjusted and some things were changed, probably colors and things like that. But what stayed the same is the basic architecture architecture so this arch the steps the windows the positioning all that pretty much stayed the same and if you there's the security if you really know these trees were probably there at the time because he lived there um up until the time where he was making the shorts so it's not that long if you really think about it so some of these gigantic trees um probably quote unquote saw him and experienced him when he was at home so it's just very very cool to see this and to see what has happened to the home that it's still there and it's still going to be used in some sort of capacity and here's another look um, it's really cool because you can see how the neighborhood was how the streets are this wraparound street is really really nice and look at this home over here it's like gargantuan look at the front yard um, but this is the home right here right on Aberdeen Avenue uh, 2555 and you can see the wraparound driveway I was talking about uh, the home over here as well as you know the outhouse and the swimming pool over here that I mentioned was uh, later added on now Liz Feldman is the individual who bought this house who was also a writer for two broke girls and the great indoors now this is a 4,000 square foot home Spanish style, as I mentioned. What's really interesting is that Larry Fine before this lived in a hotel, much like many actors. Now, it's not what you think. It's not like today. Actually, they're very swanky and very like Waldorf style hotels that actors live in. Some also even do it today, if you think about it. A lot of the Beverly Hills hotels, they rent them out for ten to $15,000 a month and so forth. And it just has uh, housekeepers and so forth. And they really don't have to worry much about 
just owning a home. This home was updated, of course, to look nice today, but they wanted to keep the historical look and essentially the design of the home. It was a four bedroom home, four and a half bathroom, and many politicians and entrepreneurs regularly visited. It had a very nice kitchen as well as a bright breakfast nook that you can see that is currently now decorated in a sunny type yellow color. Now in 2014, that is when most of the updates and renovations happened. But if you look at different things, things like the intricate carved wood, the foyer that leads to the kitchen or the seating area, a lot of that was kept. You can see that the kitchen has exposed ceiling beams, dark wooden floors, and there's even an island with a sink. And even, there I say even, a butler's pantry. He was known to have live-in house uh, keepers that is and he paid them of course during the course of that but there was three people that they even knew were his housekeepers which is really cool so there was a lot of room for many different people now if you look at the living room there was a fireplace views of the front fountain through the huge arch window the dining room held a built-in bar french doors leading outside to a very comfortable nice terrace now there's even a below the ground floor here in Los Angeles. There's no, we don't really have basements per se. They're more like semi basements because they're not really mostly underground. It's kind of a long story, but they're called semi basements. And there's a family room in there as well as red terracotta flooring tiles as well. Now upstairs, there's three bedrooms joining the primary bedroom suite and it has sloped vaulted ceilings, a spa-like bathroom, a walk-in closet, and twin Juliet balconies. Now there's other things as well. There's a quarter acre lot along with an oversized outdoor Spanish fireplace. There's fruit trees, tropical foliage, and there's a pool. Now the pool's not original to Larry Fine's time, so he didn't have a pool when he was there. That was added, as I mentioned, in 2014. There's also a pool house in the back. In regards to the pool house, there's a podcast studio now, two car garage, and a 375 foot office and floor plans as well. Now, Larry Fine actually bought this home from the architect William Summerbell. And I know what all of you are thinking, how much was this home bought for? Is it a hundred million, 50 million? Well, it's a lot less than that. And in my opinion, very reasonable for what you're getting. 4.75 million dollars now let me tell you a couple things to keep in mind this is not in the midwest it is not on the east coast this is in sunny los Feliz area los angeles california in a very very nice neighborhood very swanky it would belong to once one of the three stooges which depending on who you ask i think some people may really care and want that but i think to other people it doesn't add that value of course the stooges have their impact but it doesn't have an impact as let's say someone like gregory peck i know a lot of you want to know how to win the dvd set now this has all the stooge shorts from 1940 to 1942 it includes 23 stooge shorts so you're going to be able to laugh so much how do you win? Well, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then you don't have to do anything additionally other than like the video and leave a comment down below. And the words Larry Fine have to be in that comment. Then you can write whatever you want additionally to that. Then there's a link in the description of this video. Click on that and give me just simple mailing information so that I can send out your DVD free of charge when I choose the winner. But if you're not a subscriber already to the channel, now's your time. Hit the subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel. And subscribing, by the way, is absolutely free as is liking the video. All my videos are free on here. That's very important to note. I just wanna be able to give some DVDs away so that people can watch these hilarious men in their antics. We'll see you next time. Good luck to all of the participants and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all the supporters I have on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, Tommy G, Ricky, David D, Citizen Kane, Sally N, and Grace U. If you want to find more exclusive content, visit my Patreon page. Links in the description.